First Aid Air Gun. I'm your host, Lou, and you know what? Today, we had some technical difficulties. Uh, I wanted to give you a few weeks' worth of pellet reviews with in-depth uh, testing, you know, the ballistics gel, the cans, uh, some clay. So what I usually do, we shot one of the camera phones that we were using to film. So I'm going to condense uh, these three pellet quick shot reviews into one video and basically let you know while we're looking at this why I really, really love the Umarex Gauntlet Gen 1. So without further ado, let's get this party started. These are rifle pellets, the uh, premium series, 177 caliber, 8.33 grains. Here we are shooting at 30 yards. Unfortunately, my main footage was lost due to me shooting the camera with the Apollo pellets, which we'll cover later. This is a 12-shot group. I was using, actually, a Synergist magazine in the Umrex gauntlet. Um, it has two extra shots, and they actually work in the gauntlet. So, I did do a video on that as well. As you can see, 8, or rather, 10 out of 12 are in a dime-sized group at 30 yards. So that's definitely pretty good for me. Let me get you guys the official measurement right here. Hang on a second. We're looking at 0 .90, so just under an inch center to center. Goodbye. That's definitely a viable hunting pellet. I'll just continue shooting Not, the groups uh, here. A pellet that I would use for bench rest or anything like that, but if you're going to hunt, uh, especially with the Umarex Gauntlet Gen 1, you're going to have success. I know this platform is a little dated anyway, now, but uh, as Sorry, far as an entry level PCP, there, folks. it's still uh, basically a game changer. You're getting 60 uh, shots regulated, pushing about 15 to 16 foot pounds of muzzle energy in 177. Here we have the Barra Bowie pellets in 177 caliber, 8.18 grains. Let's That's check out how they do at 30 yards as well. Two test shots. Uh, here's a little behind the scenes. Mark. Mark. You can hear me saying mark, mark, mark. Uh, that's just so I can sync up both cameras, but like I said, unfortunately, we did lose the footage. By far the best group of the day here. Uh, as you can see, it's almost hole in hole. This is a 12 shot group, again, using the Umrex Synergist magazine in the Umrex gauntlet. Uh, perfectly acceptable, as you can see. It was cycling fine all day. And uh, that's a dime size group, 30 yards, 12 shots. The Umrex gauntlet is a very, very accurate platform. Uh, not very pellet picky whatsoever. Uh, official measurement here uh, coming up in a second, but I just kind of wanted to give you a little perspective of what 30 yards kind of looks like. Zooming in here. Um, as you can see, we had 0.38 inches, so just a little bit over a quarter inch, well under a half inch at 30 yards. You can't beat that, folks. So here we are. We're just going to speed run through the rest of the shots here because I wasn't able to get the uh, entire footage on the other end, unfortunately. So I hope this is okay for you guys. So let's go check that out, and uh, we'll walk it off over here for you. The buoy. Bear pellets. Not bad, folks. Not bad at all. And the last pellet of the day I was testing was the Apollo pointed pellets, 9.0 grains. And uh, here we are shooting again at 30 yards. Had a pretty good group. Uh, wasn't uh, out of all three pellets, it was the worst group of the day. But as you can see, other than that flyer there on the right, uh, pretty solid group overall. That's a, again, a 12 shot group at 30 yards with the Synergist magazine in the Umrex gauntlet. Dime size group other than that one flyer. So you really uh, can't complain about that. But I'll get you the official measurement here. It's just uh, 0.95, so just under an inch. That's uh, definitely a hunting pellet. Shot 
my phone, folks. Had a flyer. Price is doing business. Correction on that last group there. That was 11 shots. Didn't measure that 12 Dummy. shot. But we uh, did screw up our phone pretty good. So all three of these pellets shot really, really well at 30 yards out of the Umarex gauntlet. Uh, basically dime-sized groups all around. Had a couple of little flyers. That one of them was definitely me. And, of course, we did kill the phone with the Apollo pellet. Uh, so it flew a little, uh, way out there. Because the phone was about four inches, three to four inches off to the side. Obviously, that wasn't enough for that particular flyer. So we are waiting on a new phone. But I wanted to ask you, and if you don't mind, uh, leave a comment down below. Each of these individual pellets I have tested. So let me know if you want me to do ballistics gel, clay, the shoot the can, the water, all that good Let stuff. Let me know if you want to see those uh, ballistics testings done. Um, but really, really, man, you know, the uh, Gen 1 is a little bit of a dated platform now, but it was a groundbreaking gun when it came out. It put PCPs into the hands of people like me, uh, an affordable and regulated, really excellent budget air gun. Um, really, really accurate. Not a whole lot has been done to that gun other than the color of the barrel. Um, we could get a barrel band for that from maybe Hajimoto and tighten that up a little bit. Even get a uh, bigger bottle or a high pressure bottle and up the power. Um, we could also adjust it ourselves with shims and such. And those uh, replacement bottles, bottles are readily available. So the Umarex uh, Gauntlet Gen 1 is still a viable platform. If you can get one at a great price, I say snag one up. So let me know about the pellets. Let me know if you want to do some ballistic testing. Those are three great shooting pellets, at least out of the Umarex Gauntlet. Everybody stay safe, and I'll catch you all next time. <laughs>